This figure, is a square with two perpendicular lines of, two and three units in it. Find the area of the square. To solve this problem, first let's label the length of the side of the square, L. If we label this length, X. Then, the remaining length will be, L minus X. Next let's consider these two triangles. Notice that the two triangles are right triangles. Also, the two triangles are similar triangles, with this side corresponding to this side, this side corresponding to this side, and this side corresponding to this side. Since the triangles are similar, we can say that, they are proportional triangles. That is, they have the same ratios. If that is the case, we can say that, L, minus X, over 2 is equal to, L over 3. By cross multiplication, we have 3 times L minus X is equal to 2L. On the left side, 3 times L is 3L, 3 times minus X is minus 3X. So we have 3L minus 3X is equal to 2L. Collecting like terms will give us 3L minus 2L is equal to 3X, 3L, minus 2L, is equal to L. So we are left with, L, is equal to 3X. Let's call this equation 1. Next, let's consider the triangle below. Going further, we are going to apply Pythagoras rule in the triangle below. From Pythagoras rule, 3 squared is equal to L squared plus X squared, which can be written as L squared plus X squared is equal to 9. This is because 3 squared is equal to 9. Let's call this equation 2. Before we proceed, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you make sure to never miss my videos. From equation 1, we are going to express x, in terms of l doing so will give us, x is equal l, over 3. Let's call this equation 3. Next, we will substitute x, with l, over 3 in equation 2. It follows that, l squared, plus, L over 3 squared is equal to 9. This can be simplified as L squared plus L squared over 9 is equal to 9. Since we are looking for the area of the square, and the area of the square is the same as L squared, which is the square of the length of the side of the square. So, we are going to factor out L squared from this equation. Doing so will give us L squared times 1 plus 1 over 9 is equal to 9. Let's add this together. The common denominator is 9. 1 into 9 is 9, and 9 times 1 is 9. 9 into 9 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, and this will give us 10 over 9. So, we have L squared times 10 over 9 is equal to 9. Next, we divide through by 10 over 9. Doing so will give us L squared is equal to 9 divided by 10 over 9. Which can be written as L squared is equal to 9 times 9 over 10. 9 times 9 is 81, so we have 81 over 10. And 81 divided by 10, is 8.1. Hence, we can say that, the area of the square which is L times L, is equal to L squared, which is equal to 8.1 square units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.